Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. We're gearing up to release a horse simulator, our first game as Nerdrasoft. And hopefully it's going to do good things for us. But I've been thinking a little bit since the last episode. And basically, I've decided that we need a fallback. We need something else that's going to keep us going should horse simulator not really work out for us and so with that in mind what i've gone ahead and done is i've cancelled the port job for amplitude we're not gonna move it onto some other operating systems now i should point out that if we go in here and we have a look at it there are a lot of people on a lot of operating systems who could potentially pick up amplitude so we are going to be losing out a little bit but i would much rather make something new than just keep rehashing amplitude onto other operating systems now in saying that i do want to go in and i do want to get some updates for vector 2 including sorting out all the bugs and including putting the update on the source control server and i want to go update amplitude as well fix all the bugs do all that good stuff and make sure that the existing customers are happy right that's that's a big deal we need to make sure existing customers are kept happy but what i think i'm gonna do is start looking towards development and looking towards getting vector 3 onto the market because i think it you know the first one was successful if we look at my releases right there's three of them so far and essentially vector 2 yes it's it's made some money but it didn't make anything close to what Vector made. And Amplitude, I don't think it's ever going to make money. I'm going to be honest. I'd be very, very surprised if it makes money. It's it's just not doing that well. Yes, again, putting it onto other operating systems might help. But I, I just don't see that there's much of a point. So, when it comes to Vector 3, what we'll do is we'll go for whatever we can do. In fact, you know what? Let's... Let's take a bit of a risk. Let's create a new framework. Let's call it the uh, the voxel engine is what we'll go for here. Because in doing this, we can use our own framework. We don't have to pay royalties, right? That's, that's kind of the big deal here. So what we'll do is we'll say that Vector 3 is going to have all the same features that the last one did. But we could throw in drawing tablet support which is actually a really big draw but it might actually be too much we could throw liquify in there we could throw vector graphics in there but i don't want to make this a two-year development process so if i throw dynamic brushes in there that's that's probably good enough because if we restructure things a little bit we can get that expected interest to 100 percent now pricing wise i'm gonna say it's gonna be uh, let's go for a $69.99 flat. It's not going to be subscription-based. It is default. That's fine. We'll go to the next page. And in terms of operating systems, let's just try and immediately put this on the four most recent. So again, we're, we're kind of looking at approximately two years on this thing, but it is 3.1 million consumers, which is pretty good. So let's hop to the next page. Let's automatically balance this for 100% expected interest. Let's hit the next page. And in terms of publishing, this is where things get a little tricky. Because we could very well print this ourselves. And we we probably should do that. But I'm I'm going to have a publisher take this and deal with it. So it's going to be Funk Studio publishing it again. It's going to be me taking up the, the task as, as lead designer here. And we'll go ahead and start working on it because I think it's 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 going to be pretty good if we can get this thing uh, going in a good direction. Right. That's that's what I want to do. But I also want to go ahead and make my teams a little bit better. Right. So we've got this lovely little design going down here. What I want to do is I want to go in and I want to redo this office right here. So essentially, I'm going to take the vending machine out. 
I'm going to take the tables out. And then we're basically going to copy everything from downstairs with a slightly different layout so we can get a couple more employees in here. But I also want to take out these wall lights and I want to make this place look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a lovely painting right there. I'm going to get a painting of a computer and I'm going to put it well, can I get it right next to it? No. So we'll go for right there. And I'm going to get the one of the cat and it's going to go right there. And then what I'm going to do is grab this guy and see if I can just get it right up there and right up there. Now, that's not actually evenly spaced out. So you know what? We're not going to do those lights at all. We're just going to leave it sort of like that. And that's OK. That's just a nice little bit of decoration. And that's fine. That's that's all it needs to be this uh this clock we can probably go ahead and move it to be well we could sort of do whatever we want with it i think i'll just sort of leave it there we could put another one at this end but i think we'll just put another plant at this end of things to uh you know keep it nicely decorated and then down here this wall is looking a little bit bare so what else have we got i'm probably just gonna go with another pair of bookcases which are now in the uh, the same color as the room dividers and they do give a little bit of environment and a little bit of skill boost to the uh, the room in general. So I think that'll be pretty good for us. And I think that's fine. I think it's uh, that's that's probably good enough for this room. So if we go ahead and run things, these guys can all go back to their desks and that's all right. But what we can also do and what I think we should do is try and make these teams a little bit better because the day shift night shift thing is not amazing let's be honest so we have six people working down here we have two in each of these we had four in here so we can add essentially two people to each of the teams so if we go to night shift and we go to hr management we can add two people right so let's go ahead and just add, I guess, let's let's add two designers, right? We'll have some design work going on throughout the day. So we'll do uh, two designers right there and we'll go to, in fact, let me pause while I'm doing this. Uh, we'll go to day shift, we'll do two programmers. Now, I'm, I'm thinking we could probably say that we don't want to hire people based on service specializations. We don't really need that. We probably don't need networking either. And this, this whole list here is what makes me think that the best thing we could do is hire a team of system developers, hardware developers, 2D developers, right? That seems, or designers, sorry, and then programmers and artists, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like we should hire people and build teams specifically on those specializations and use that as a means to assign people right if we're designing something that needs hardware uh design then we put the hardware designers on it I, I i just think it would be an idea anyway uh what we should see happen here is both day and night shift should end up with 14 people in total on each team so that's gonna be plus two and that'll hopefully help us out a little bit i'm wondering if this is actually going to tick over to 14 there it goes okay so we're now up to 14 people. Let's go ahead and say that design on vector should, eh, well, yeah, it, it can sort of be a priority. That's, that's okay. Now, where are we with horse simulator? It has 197 bugs fixed, 132 followers. Let me look at the project details. So the publisher is just doing marketing on horse simulator. So let me, let me print some copies let's say there's 52,000 in stock already so you know what we'll do a maximum uh, and we'll say that we'll do a maximum of 15,000 so that uh, essentially we're only going to print copies if there's less than 15,000 in stock and here we are January of 1985 it is time for horse simulator to hit the market now we could if we really wanted to hold on to this until later in the day but honestly i'm happy to just ship it out early and see what happens in terms of quality one two three four five stars bug squad is four and those guys are two okay well fair enough we're not gonna order any copies 
we don't need to worry about that. We have over 50,000 in stock. Uh, we have a few down there in storage, which is fine. But immediately, immediately, I want to just go and grab some contract work because we are not making money right now. So I want to grab this logistics application. We are losing a considerable amount of money. I want to grab this logistics application. Hell, I want to grab those three things. We're going to say that I am going to be the lead designer on this thing. That's not me. That was Graham Sykes. Where am I? Where, where am I? I'm in here somewhere. I think. Am I? I should be. There I am. All right. Yeah. I'm going to be the lead designer on this thing. Source control is going to be that. And I didn't accept it because I'm an idiot. Okay. Good job, me. Uh, lead designer is going to be me. Source control is done. Let me accept the three bits of work. And thinking about it, my designers are going to be kind of swamped. So let's just set them on all of that real quick and see how that goes. We do have a bit of time to do all of this. So it's not like it's, uh, it doesn't have to be done, you know, right now. And we do have designers coming in in the evening as well. So we can absolutely, you know, get these things pushed into, uh, into development and so on and so on. So we'll start doing a bit of that. We'll promote you. Uh, we'll develop you. And then we can, you know, turn all those in. But I'm curious to see if horse simulator is is gonna do anything for us i i'm really not expecting yeah that's that's bad <laughs> oh no 163 active users wow wow um i mean we could port it right yeah it's what what's what's horse how many potential active users does it have it has, does it not say, what am I, what am I looking for here? We're looking for potential consumers, right? Active users, creativity, marketing, in stock, refunds, growth, consumer reaches 2 million. So there's 2 million potential people. Oh my God. That makes it worse. There's potentially 2 million people that could be playing this and none of them are. Oh boy. Um, let's port it to this. Let's port it to you and you. And let's say that's okay. I don't know that that porting horse simulator is necessarily the right call here. We might want to just, well, not, but we'll finish this up for 58,000. We'll finish this up for 19,000. We'll finish that for 16,000 and hopefully that'll be some money. And then we'll go ahead and say the port job kind of needs to be the priority now. Uh, I'm also thinking we, we might want a meeting room. Oh, inventory, inventory broken needs maintenance. Ah, the lights are broke. Okay, let's go ahead and call maintenance and get that sorted. And I kind of hope this port job doesn't take forever because if it does, it's that's going to be a problem. That really is going to be a problem. We could make expansions for Horse Simulator, but if no one's playing it, then no one's playing it, right? So I don't know if it's worth making expansions or if it's worth just saying, yeah, it failed. I just don't know. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we, we made money because I did contract work. We actually made 100,000, which isn't bad. Wait, we got 618,000 from sales? Hold on a minute. How did we get 618? Oh, Vector 2 managed to get a few more sales. Okay. Horse Simulator actually did okay. It's It's gone up, you know, 2,400 active users. So we've got that going for us. I would, I would go in and I would look at updating it and like I said, creating an expansion, I just don't think there's any point. I think we need to port it to the other systems and see if maybe people will be interested in uh, in playing it on some other systems. I'm also thinking that this does give us an opportunity to keep up the design on Vector 3. So with that amount, ooh, 234,000 for a logistics application and then some game assets as well. Um, Let's... Let's let's grab those, I guess. Let's set Graham as the lead designer. Let's accept all that work. No one is competent as a level one network designer. Ah. Does this this does need network design? Okay, let me grab those two. And let me prioritize both of those over my own software. So we can maybe get them done in a reasonable amount of time. So looking at my income for the past three months, sales did get a bit of a bonus there in February. It has been on a decline ever since, but looking at it, 
Vector 2 is, is actually doing okay. So I am wondering if... I think we should port it to at least this operating system to try and get another million uh, potential users. And I'm thinking we could probably do with updating Vector 2 as well. So if we do that, we can get, you know, the bugs fixed and all that stuff as well. I think, I think porting Vector 2 should probably be a bit of a priority over Horse Simulator. And I think updating Vector 2 should be a bit of a priority as well. Just to keep the consumers happy, because there are still people buying it. So we want to make sure that they feel uh, confident in their purchase and they feel as though we are you know, supporting the software that they've picked up here. Okay, so the port job was, it was, it was successful. Vector has moved on to another operating system. In terms of sales, it is doing okay. Uh, the original Vector's all right, and Amplitude is doing terribly, so it's, it is never going to make money. And then Horse Simulator. I wonder if we change the price. I wonder if we bring that down to say $59.99. Let's, let's knock $10 off that price and see if that helps at all. Because if it does, that would be great, right? We are still porting it to other operating systems. Two out of five have been done. So we're hopefully going to see three out of five have been done. So hopefully we're going to see more people interested in good old horse simulator. And honestly, we could probably update it. Right? I think we're maybe at a point where we can get away with updating horse sim a little bit. So let's go for amplitude as the audio tool. Uh, let's go for vector two as the 2D tool. At less than a year to do that. Got a few bugs in there, but that should be fine. We'll bring the priority down in the port. We'll bring the priority up on the update. And hopefully this will maybe encourage people to be like, hey, horse simulator is... Wouldn't you know, it's it's not a dead game. They are fixing it. The technology is better than it was at launch. So this this might do something for us, hopefully. I just, it's, it's the update we're waiting on at this point. And are we going to get it today? We are not actually. And we did just make money. Nice. We made a, we made $12,000 last month. We're in the big leagues now. All right, finish the update. Let's see what people think of it. And we'll get back to work on the port, which is getting there. And also, so is Vector 3. It's it's actually doing pretty well for uh, for itself. Although looking at it, what's what's slow? Operating system support? Man, we we really should. We really hmm. I wonder I wonder if there I wonder if setting up teams the way I mentioned would be the way to go about it. Because if we hire people for specific roles so we hire a designer with a specific specialization it just makes you wonder doesn't it i mean hell we're at the point where we can we can bring people in with 3d specializations right so does that mean we can make yeah we could make 3d editors which i don't think any operating system is going to support i mean if i pop through here right now and we go to add yeah no operating system supports 3d editors right now but what if we, I mean, does any operating system, no, no operating system has networking either. So that's, there's no point bringing in networking specialists, but I do, I do wonder if a little cheeky antivirus software would be an idea because I've always had success with these. If we do file encryption, file scanners, anti-theft, etc. this is still less than a year with I can I can get a hundred percent interest out of that if we throw an interface in there and we throw everything at it it's still less than a year so essentially we're gonna get longer development time but no further sales out of adding all this stuff so I could go in and I could say let's take out you know password management take out the application scanner if I go to next and next and I auto balance I can still get a hundred percent expected interest by just you know focusing myself a little bit so I'm suddenly interested in doing this to be honest if we go to operating systems uh we have some pretty good choices if I go down the list and grab those four still less than a year on development here 62 let's make that uh 55 just because we can and product name I mean well source control as well uh oh frameworks as well if i go for a new framework it's about a year if i go for existing i mean yes there's there's royalties but suddenly i can throw things like this 
in and I, I, I can do all sorts essentially to get people interested in this so let's well we'll not worry about the name just yet if i auto balance this i can only get it to 95 now now if i auto balance i'm still you know I'm at 31 there what about what about that that's that's not too bad honestly 19 percent wasted i don't i don't love that but it's it's not the worst in the world what about auto balancing you we can still what about turning off malware alerts there we go let's 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 do that let's 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 do it let's and you know what we're just gonna go with the old name bug blocker uh so we'll go with the two words so bug blocker is is gonna be the name for it it's an original ip we could make it subscription based we'll do that later down the line we we'll use the Railtech engine we're gonna put it on four operating systems it's been balanced uh so less than a year do we need a publisher we we could we could potentially get a publisher for marketing uh printing i think you know what we'll do marketing and printing we'll we'll stick with it we'll we'll stick with funk studio we've had a pretty good relationship with them so let's develop that i wasn't really thinking we were going to do antivirus but we'll develop it and see what happens we also need an it tech in here so let's uh call maintenance call it support get everything looked at and we'll see what we can do we're still we're making a little bit of money right now we're doing we're doing okay and i I'm actually thinking, oh, September 86. We have a year to make this thing. Ah. I didn't really pay attention to what they wanted on that, did I? Oh, hold on a minute. How do we just make all that money? Not all that money. 94,000. Yeah, all that money. All right. Ooh, wait. Horse Simulator just had a jump in sales. I knew porting it would be good. Fantastic. We've also got some bugs to fix. We can probably update it and we can make an expansion. So Horse Simulator is somehow actually making me money and now that we finished porting horse simulator let's look at updating uh vector 2 we have some bugs to fix let's uh there's nothing to do in vector 1 i don't know if i want to cancel support on that which will anger my users unless all bugs have been fixed so yeah we're gonna cancel support on that amplitude we probably want to you know make sure that it is uh where we want it to be so in terms of tools for this, we'll go for this guy. Uh, in terms of everything else, we're probably all right. So we'll go ahead and update Amplitude as well. And then Horse Simulator, we can update that as well with better audio and better 2D. So in terms of audio, we're going to sort by release date. We'll go for this guy. Yeah, we're spending money on royalties, but that's fine. Uh, and then releases, we'll go Vector 2, I guess. So we'll push those updates. That's going to keep my programmers fairly busy because they aren't doing anything right now because all we're working on is in the design stages. But, you know, keeping them busy is, is going to be a good thing. We should hopefully be able to keep our consumers happy as well by updating the things that they're buying, like I've been saying this entire time. And it looks like the horse simulator update is going to be done by the end of work today. So there we go. Let's get that one out of there. And the other two can go out next month, and that's all right. Monetarily speaking, a little bit less this month, but still plus $100,000. And I, I'm looking at Vector 3 and I'm thinking, I don't know that we're going to finish a fourth iteration on this. And I'm looking at Bug Blocker and thinking it probably doesn't need a fourth iteration. So let's, uh, is anyone good at antivirus? Actually, Arma Armand, Arma Armand Harmon, which is a weirdly difficult name to say, is actually quite skilled in antivirus so we're gonna assign you as the lead on that and then the lead on 2d editors apparently i'm not very inspired lead designers need inspiration to generate good ideas and it will slowly drain as they use it during the design phase inspiration won't affect an employee's creativity until the bar is below the center line uh okay let's give judith farley uh, vector three there changing the designer towards the end of the design phase is maybe not gonna do all that much but we'll see we'll see what maybe uh what maybe comes of it there and see if that maybe helps us out a little bit but let's uh let's prioritize the amplitude update if we can and get that out of there and then the vector update should be no time at all until it's done as well i would hope it looks like it's taken a bit longer than it should, but there we go. So Vector's been updated. Everything's been updated, right? So everything's good. 
my designers can come in in the morning and hopefully finish design on bug blocker. We're still not making as much money as I'd like, but we are making money. So we have that going for us. And I suppose we should look at old software and see what's come out recently. So there's another operating system. Uh, it's not that popular. So that's okay. We have this guy, active users. Fair enough. Maybe we, maybe we look at porting this guy again. Let's see what we got. So most recent releases, uh, nothing I think I need to worry about. Nothing that's really made, well, oh my god, 240, it's, it's, the Game Boy made a bit of money, but I, I think we're okay. I think we can stick with the design stuff, and I think we probably have enough money to last until both Bug Blocker and Vector 3 have come out. But I'll be honest, I think Bug Blocker is going to have to go into its alpha stage at the end of December, regardless of, you know, the progress on this iteration. So it turns out Bug Blocker really didn't need long to develop. In fact, it is very, very close to being 100% done and now is 100% done. So that's going to give us a good time to focus completely on uh, Vector 3, which is due to come out in a year and is maybe a sixth of the way towards being finished its alpha stage. I'm not super stressed about Bug Blocker having funnily enough, a bunch of bugs in it. It was pretty well designed. So even if there are, we can fix them after launch. I'm sure we can manage. And uh, what I'm going to do is set up a print job and bug blocker for a maximum of 50,000 copies. And essentially what that means is we're going to have to have a courier come in here to pick a bunch of these up because I don't remember what the details were on bug blocker for the publisher. Are they doing printing? They are. So I don't actually need to print it at all, which is fair enough. I'll, I'll probably, you know, <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we don't, maybe we don't do that because if we do, well, we're just going to have them sitting down there because I'm not paying a courier to come and pick up those copies. So that's, that's, that's whatever. I am really hoping for a success with bug blocker though. I'm really, really wanting it to be. A good thing. I'm also looking at how filthy this place gets in the morning, and I'm thinking we should have another cleaner come in. So maybe, or maybe a bit earlier. Maybe the cleaner comes in a bit earlier. So maybe instead of two, you come in at noon, and then we'll hire another cleaner to come in at, say, uh, let's see, the cleaner can leave, yeah, at eight. They can come in and leave about the same time my employees get out of here. So that should keep the place relatively clean. It should keep it at least a fair bit cleaner. You know, I'm thinking about it, and Horse Simulator has almost made some money. So why don't we bring that price down a little bit further? Why don't we bring the price down to $49.99, right? So $50, and we'll make an expansion pack. Right, so we'll go for Horse Simulator Cataclysm, <laughs> right? So Horse Simulator Cataclysm. I don't really know how this necessarily works, but I guess what we're doing is we'll use, we'll use Vector for this. Uh, so we want to bump the, the 2D sprites, right? So we want to satisfy the market in terms of graphics, which we're now doing, which we could go all out on that. I don't necessarily think we need to, but I, I I don't think we need to go crazy on this, right? Because the market is going to be satisfied with that much work on graphics. And then we can add audio and music and we can bump the story and we can bump the gameplay a little bit. And then with some systems, we can bump the gameplay up to there. So that's going to be less than a year. It really doesn't need that many people. That seems fine. And then we do like a $10 expansion for this. And it's going to cost me 15000 on licensing. Uh, yeah, that, that seems fine. Audio tool for this. Amplitude, I guess. That should be that should be okay as well. So let's, let's develop Horse Simulator Cataclysm. And to be honest, the only reason I'm doing this is because my designers are doing nothing right now. It was either Horse Sim Cataclysm or we start working on office software or something like that. Also, we need to call maintenance, not hire. Well... How much is it to hire maintenance? Fifteen hundred per month versus hundred per hour. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I, I, I guess we can do that. 
Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll have maintenance on site. That's probably completely unnecessary, but we'll do it. Oh, I've just realized something. We're going to have to market Horse Simulator Cataclysm ourselves because there's no publisher dealing with it. That's... That's not good. That is that is actually quite bad uh, for for us. That's that is that is a very very bad thing. Fortunately, it's not going to take long to develop. It got through all of its iterations as well, so it's it's it in theory it's going to be good, right? In theory, it's going to I guess be outstanding. It's just a matter of whether or not people know it exists i guess so let's promote that i'm not too worried about the bugs in terms of marketing i mean i could hire a marketing team but i don't know that we necessarily have the money to hire a marketing team because we are losing you know close to a hundred thousand a month so we kind of probably need to see what bug blocker does next month and then see what vector 3 does in march before we can even market horse sim cataclysm or we simply say, you know, put 15,000 copies in stores and we'll go from there, I guess. I, I feel like that's pretty much where we're at with this. So let me manage staff. Let me call a courier. I know it's expensive, but we can we can call a courier in here. We can have Horse Sim Cataclysm head out into stores, which it now is. And we could just release it with zero marketing and zero fanfare. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea, but my teams aren't marketers, you know? Unless we say, I don't know, release it in November this year or October. I say, let's say, um, let's say October of 1986. So it's coming next month. There's immediately 303 followers. So a release date helps. Uh, we can send a press build out and see what people think of it. So maybe that maybe that's all we needed to do. Maybe maybe we don't need a marketing team. We just say it's coming, and here's a build for the press to uh, to tell you about it. Anyway, it is September. Let's release Bug Blocker and see what people think. They've never heard of uh, Nerdersoft. It's magnificent. It's I, I will take that. I will take that. Let's immediately update it as well, so that we can make it as good. As it can possibly be. I, I'm i going to use final styles here. Instead of my own thing. In fact, uh, no, we'll use we'll use this for now. Because it's not going to cost me anything. We're only going up uh, two tech levels. Unless, if I use this one, can I go up to... Yeah, we can go up to 1983. So we'll do that instead. We'll bring it as up to date as we possibly can. Going to cost 12,000 on licenses, but that's fine. And I guess now we'll just say prioritize... All of the... In fact, no, don't prioritize that. Prioritize Vector 3. Because it's not that far out, and it is quite close to being done. So, I hope I hope Bug Blocker makes us money. It was... Uh, let's sort by releases. It was only $75,000 to make it. So, here's hoping for good things. I'd also kind of like to stop spending money on Vector 2. Because what I'm noticing is the profits that it made are gradually going down and i think that's because the publisher is still marketing it still printing it uh i don't know <laughs> i feel like the, the the profits in vector 2 are gonna go away at some point but i don't know we'll see what happens let's see how bug blocker deals with the market ah it sort of didn't uh or well did it did it make money wow how did it just go oh my god it's outstanding, which is great. The marketing is unavoidable. Um, does it need ported to things? What what happened to Bug Blocker? It doesn't really need ported to anything. I just... What, what do people say about it? Uh, press release of Cataclysm. Uh, not well known in the market. Heard some rumors. That's fine. I'm not really interested in continuing to work on Horse Sim Cataclysm. So let's just release it and see what people think of it. So Bug Squad have never heard of it. So five stars. Or never encountered a bug. Okay. I have to market it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to market the thing. That's not good. Um, I need to put both teams on this. And we'll give it a marketing budget of 
$20,000. I don't, I don't know that anyone's going to manage that. But we'll see. I don't know if anyone has marketing skill on any of these teams. Oh, it looks like they actually surprisingly do. Okay. Well, we'll see if that makes money. Hopefully we can get it up to, I mean, marketing is going to be sparse on, on, on that, which is fair enough. Bug blockers being updated, which is great. And then vector three is almost done. I hope we can make money, man. I really do. I want bug blocker to be a, a huge success. I need something to be a huge success because nothing we've put out so far has been a huge success. Oh, yeah, yeah, hello. We made 50,000 and that was on sales. What, what did I sell? What just made money? Okay, so, so 164,000 is good. Cataclysm, uh, 28,000. No profit so far, which is fair enough. That's, that's all right. And then frameworks, we've done none. That's, that's okay. Okay. Um, I hope we can make some money here. I really do. <laughs> I'm really getting kind of nervous now because we're, we're not doing anything close to what I'd like to be doing. We're really not. And we're also going to be spending ridiculous money on, on horse sim. But anyway, we'll promote vector. It's getting into a good spot. Uh, we could update horse sim, I suppose. We'll go for better audio tools. Uh, if we get tech level 1984 on this one. So if I use that, I can bring the audio tech up a little bit. If I use this guy, we can bring 2D up to 1983 and then system as well. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll get a nice update for horse sim out there. Vector 2, I think all its bugs have been fixed. Amplitude hasn't been fixed. So we'll bring all of this up to date as well. Same with the uh, the audio. So we'll hit that with an update. See what happens. We did make money. A little bit of money. Not a whole lot, but a little bit is better than none. And uh, yeah, Horse Simulator Cataclysm is... It's got widespread marketing, but money it is not making. Oh boy. Bug Blocker might turn a profit though. So that makes me happy. I've at least, <laughs> I've at least had that as a success. Now, let's see what Vector uh, 3 does. It has over 1,100 followers and climbing. So hopefully that means that Vector 3 is actually going to be a genuine success. Okay, somehow Horse Simulator just made 200,000 last month out of seemingly nowhere with the expansion doing nothing. And the expansion, I should say, I'm not even marketing it anymore. The expansion marketing is is done. I have no interest in that thing. So not bad. We're also looking like we're at a point where we can release vector three. See what happens. Quality assistance. It's great. It's an ambitious idea by me. I'm not sure they've heard about me. That's fine. That's good. That's, that's a really good start. Let's immediately hit this with an update. Let's bring the system tech up to date. Let's bring the 2d tech up to date. Going to be no license costs. That's fine. I I want to hit this with that update day one. I want to see if we can get a, a, a day one patch out for Vector 3. And hopefully that's just going to push it over the edge that little bit further. It was marketed pretty well. Quality wise, it's outstanding. Marketing's apparently sparse, which I find hard to believe, but whatever. I, I want this to be a success. I want Vector 3 to put this company on the map. It needs to. We really, we need it to. So the update's done. We've got, uh, what else have we got here? We have some bugs for Horse Simulator. <laughs> I guess let's update it. We'll go for Factor 3, which is actually going to be good. It means we can, oh, uh, we can do some good stuff here. We can do some good stuff here. Uh, Vector 2, we could, can we, we can bring it up to 19, wait, we can bring, if we bring it up to 1984 levels. Oh. We could end support for it. There's no more bugs coming in. Let's let's cancel support for Vector 2 uh, because we're not we're not worried about it. Amplitude, we can bring that up to 1984 levels. And I think I might be the only 2D editor that has 84 tech in it right now. And if that's true, then Vector... Oh, it could be big. Oh, that could be big. All right, Bug Blocker, let's hit you with an 84 update as well. All right, let's 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 hit all of them with this update and see what happens. I think Horse Simulator should be... 
Oh, I, I want to, I'm, I'm actually really, I'm curious here. 2.9 million. What's it going to go to? It's 3.1. Okay. It's, it wasn't as huge as I thought it was going to be. A product has run out of copies. Horse, sim <laughs> horse simulator, of course, has run out of copies. Interesting. It did sell pretty well. So, um, yeah, that's fair enough. Let's have a little look here at distribution. There's a good few in, in, in storage. Okay. Let's say that we want to limit this to 3,600. And uh, let's also go ahead and call a career. That seems like it would be a good idea. And what we can actually go ahead and do as well, and this is a little bit of money that we're spending that we don't necessarily need to. But we could go into build mode. We could go to distribution. We could grab some servers or some conveyor belts, sorry. And uh, just sort of move them around like this a little bit so we can print more. And that should be pretty good for us. Uh, now, let's uh, let's go back into live mode because I need to check some things. Vector 3 made money. It did, but not as much as I would have liked. In terms of porting this thing, let's get it onto these operating systems. They came out last year. They're not hugely successful, but they are more consumers, and that's kind of what we're looking for. So I guess... I have no idea why we're still in the, the game at the minute. I have no idea who's still in the office, but apparently we are. I mean, I, I guess it was a success, I I suppose. I, I guess we've done something here with, um, with Vector 3. There's some bugs. There's no tickets queued, so we're doing okay there. The, uh, the updates are coming along nicely for everything else, so... Let's let's finish the amplitude one. Let's hopefully finish the horse simulator one. And then the bug blocker one is finished as well. So we've updated everything that we can update with the uh with the 2D text. The 2D text, the yeah, the 2D editor 1984 tech is what I was looking for there. Now let's see how things do. 3 million goes to 3.2. Okay. Not as much money as I would have liked. We actually made, we broke a million in sales last month, which is kind of huge. Um, Still doing okay with Vector. Bug Blocker's doing okay. It's finally turned a profit. Okay, I will take it. That's, that's actually good. That is good. But here's what I'm thinking. I might downsize. Even though we're making money, I might downsize. I might go down to... Uh, the apartment building rather than the skyscraper because each of these rooms to lease is 8730 a month. So if we go and we look at uh, move company and we say buildings, basically, it's, it's almost half the price for the apartment building. I, I don't know. I don't know. The hardware one I think would be cool. I've got to be honest. I think the hardware, hardware ink would be really cool, but I just, I don't think we're at the point where we can make hardware. We'd have to rebuild the entire company and restructure the entire company. So I don't know that we want to do that. What I am thinking though, is we need to figure out what's coming next. We really, really need to figure out what's coming next because thus far we have nothing in the pipeline. Now, horse simulator, we could, we could port that to some new operating systems. If we sort by release date, we have some come out this month. So, you know, we could go down the list and say port to all of those. And that'll be, that'll be some new customers. Bug blocker, for example, we could port that to those two. And that's great. Vector three, we could port that to uh, nothing really. So we're not going to worry too much about it. Porting jobs are not going to keep this company afloat though. So we'll prioritize Vector 3. We'll say that uh, Horse Sim can be the lowest priority. Bug Blocker is going to be a 5. So that's that's kind of the order of things with, uh, with the porting jobs. I just, I, again, that's not going to keep the company afloat. At least I don't think it is. If it does, I'll be very surprised. I guess we'll see. This, this port job, we might get one of them done. We did get one of them done this month. Ooh. Oh, that did just push us up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just made half a million in Vector 3 last month. Okay. I guess I'll shut up.
is what I'll do. I guess I'll just, I'll just zip, I'll just zip it, all right? <laughs> oh boy. All right, maybe we don't need to downsize. We'll see. Let's not get carried away.